Well, it is the last weekend of September. In fact, Tuesday is October 1st, and that means we're getting closer and closer to Halloween. In fact, 33 days away from today, and things are starting to get a little bit spooky and also a little bit cooler as we slowly transition into October, which is known for at least slightly cooler temperatures. Now today, today's progress numbers high temperature of 95. We should be at 88, so if it's felt warmer than normal, it has its filled uh, at least in the mid 90s with heat indices up to about 100 degrees because it's just so humid outside so much moisture and when we have rainfall in the rain gauge it just helps with the, how humid it is outside. Now as far as the record set back in 2005 that was 101 degrees so we're about six shy from that and so far for the year of 2019 about 16 inches of rain which is still below normal. We still need more rain chances in this forecast and I think we'll, we'll get some by tomorrow and also into Monday as well. Current temperatures out at the Bayfront around 83 Rockport at 86 Port A at 85 and the low to mid 80s out to our south and west closer to 281 also near Alice and also Orange Grove. Now rainfall totals the big winner fell furious at six tenths of an inch of rainfall just off 281 going southbound into Edinburgh and also into the Rio Grande Valley here in town. We picked up about a tenth of an inch of rainfall a little bit better over in Port A, but again, very isolated in pockets out across the viewing area. So this is a, a 12 hour loop of rainfall over uh, the coastal bend. You can see a lot of the scattered showers just kind of diminish thanks to the lack of daytime heating after we get about past let's say seven o'clock. We lose the energy in the atmosphere. We just have mostly clay skies along with a light downpour just south of Mathis at this hour, but we still have lots of moisture to work with. We have a lot of moisture coming in the Gulf of Mexico and also across deep south Texas, but the big difference is into tomorrow a lack of it actually less deep moisture, but as we get into Monday, it's going to come back and do think better activity will start to work in by the start of the work week and after that high pressure starts to work in. That means high and dry conditions, but notice out to the northwest, a little dip in the jet stream that's going to create cooler weather and also stormy weather. In fact, they're looking at winter weather advisories out across Montana, Idaho, parts of uh, Washington and getting into Oregon. Uh, the purple indicating advisories, the orange indicating the winter storm warnings where they'll see anywhere from between about six inches to 12 in the next day or so. And notice the temperature difference out across the uh, continental 48. 36 in Billings, Montana, 51 over in Salt Lake City here in town, 83 degrees, so a big temperature gradient. But this is the start of change as we slowly transition into October and also the latter half of fall. Now here are the tropics, a very quick look at it. Hurricane Lorenzo, now a cat five. This just updated about, let's say about 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes ago. Wind sustained at 160 with higher wind gusts up to 185. This is moving north at 10 and this is not a problem for us, but maybe a problem for for the Azores Islands and also closer to the UK through about, let's say, later on next week as it still maintains Category 2 status in the next few days. Tomorrow's forecast, if you're going out to the beach, not a bad day to do so, but the rip currents will be high, winds gusty at times, high temperatures in the low 90s, sunset around 720, UV index up to high still in the end of September, water temperatures in the mid 80s. Seven day forecast as we wrap up the weekend, better rain chance on Monday Less rain chance tomorrow, less coverage, but still.